Hi, I'm Alex. I'm part of an international, interdisciplinary group of researchers who have come together to work in the field of synthetic biology. Bacteria can produce proteins called adhesins. These allow the bacteria to stick to surfaces and to each other, forming biofilms. Gum disease, catheter contamination, and implant contamination are all medical consequences of biofilm formation. There are also environmental consequences, such as metal corrosion. However, if we could control when and where these proteins are expressed, we could use this for good purposes. For example, imagine we have devised a method for extracting an environmental pollutant. We could implement this method into, an, into a single bacteria. However, if one of the intermediate substances in the process is harmful to that bacteria, the process can't be carried through. Instead, we could implement several strains of bacteria, each able to carry out a single step in the process, passing along the intermediate substances to the next bacteria. In this way, we could overcome the problem. In order to control what our bacteria sticks to, we remove cell surface proteins such as adhesins and flagella. Into this naked strain, we could implant adhesin genes of our desire. This allows us to control exactly what our bacteria will stick to. Hi, I am Dharmik, and this is our experiment. Our strategy is to use a three component protein which can be expressed on the cell surface. A small region on our protein is recognized by a secretion channel and allows it to pass through the inner membrane. One part of the protein anchors itself to the cellular membrane and feeds the extracellular component out of the cell. The first step in our experiment is to label our naked bacteria so that we can visualize the interactions between cells expressing different adhesins. We transform the cells with either GFP or M cherry carrying plasmid. To do this, we use two different techniques mating and electroporation. We utilize a system which transfers the fluorescence genes from the plasmid to the bacterial genome. Now we have one strain which fluoresces green and one red. We check the fluorescence genes have inserted in the correct part of the genome or not using the colony PCR. Now that we have two identifiable strains, we can start thinking about our adhesins. These are the plasmids containing our different adhesins. We are testing two different types of anchor systems. These are the autotransporters and these are the intimates. We introduce this into our bacteria by electroporation. We then check that the electroporation was successful by plasmid extraction or PCR. If everything has been successful, we can induce our bacteria to express the adhesins. We can verify uh, correct expression and localization to the cell surface using western blot and fluorescence microscopy. Hi, I'm Yong. I come from the University of Hong Kong. I'm a member of the synthetic biology team. For this project, there is still a lot of research, interesting research to be undertaken. It would be useful to be able to produce an intracellular signal when adhesion occurs. From this, we can start building the complex behavior that are our goal. In a similar manner, Linking the expression of the hazons to more diverse biosensors would enable the system to be useful for many more settings. Being able to direct or at the very least predict the positioning of the hazons on the cell's membrane would enable more precise community structures which may prove important for certain applications. We are also unsure how many different types of adhesins we can produce in a single cell while maintaining a health cell and predictable behaviors. This work will continue.
so keep posted.